Alright, so while working on trying to get the motor in, uh, I ran into a bit of a problem. If you look inside, you can see that the inside portion is a little bit smaller than the rest of the motor mount, if you will. Okay, if I try to put this in, if it's perfect over here, as soon as I get to this section, that is the other piece here, it jams up. So I can't get it all the way in. Now either I stick with a brush mortar or I can have or attempt to have this part here machined. So I'm going to bring it to work tomorrow. Finally got the brushless motor machined, fits in perfectly, beautifully. Uh, a hole was already drilled here so I used it to retain the motor. Why not, right? Brand new plastic gear cover. And then the steering is set up. I got the new steering knuckles. A bit of play in my servo, so I might have to change that. Other than that, it looks very nice. Now we can put the wheels back on, and I guess we can put in the electronics. And the rear gearbox guard, and so on. Unfortunately, I don't have a very small ESC, so I'm going to put this one in. It is an 80 amp ESC. It's pretty big, but I had to uh, do some sculpting, sculpting inside to make room for it. But uh, all is well. It fits in very nicely now. you guys can see that but that's pretty good not bad not bad alright now it's time to wire it all up
Well, we got all the electronics done. Bit of adjustments. Right now it's going backwards. I'll just switch over two wires here. The steering is backwards. So let's switch the steering over. Nice. Let's fix the endpoints. 